Hi, my name is Graham Thorne, I'm the course leader for live visual design and production here at Backstage Academy. I'm also a member of the Isadora Troikotronic software. And today I'd like to show you my top five tips for getting started with Isadora. So for tip number one, I'm going to show you how to import video. Here I've got some pre-made video clips and I want to get them inside Isadora. There's a couple of ways to do this, but the first one is to click on a video and drag it to the media bin, let go and a video will appear. Also, you can do a multiple selection, such as highlighting a few videos and dragging them across and it will put them in as well. Tip number two. Now that we've got some video loaded in, how do you get it to play? The easiest way to do this is to click on a video once so it goes light blue, then click and hold and drag and let go and you'll see that the video starts to come to life. Okay, tip number three, how do we get to see the output? There's two ways of doing this. You can check that the video is sending by hovering your mouse over the green line and you'll get some basic information and a preview of what's being sent down that patch cord. However, if you want to see what's actually being sent out, we can go to Output, Force Stage Preview and it'll give you a preview of what's being sent out to your projector or LED wall. Tip number four, how do you add an effect? Well first of all I need to move my movie player over here to give me some space to put an effect in. Then I'm going to go down to dots and I'm going to click on dots and then when I click and let go I've, I've added the dots after into the scene but it's not yet connected. Part of tip number four is how to connect it. If I move it up you'll see that line goes yellow. As soon as I let go it will repatch and put these patch cords to the input and the output then you are free to start playing around with the parameters of the effect. Okay, tip number five. This relates to effects as well. How do I add another effect? There's a really nice shortcut where if you double click anywhere in an empty scene, it brings up a menu. This is the same menu as what's on the left here. But as you get more familiar with Isadora, you'll begin to remember the names of effects. So I'm going to type in motion blur, and there is a motion blur. On this occasion, I'm going to manually delete the patch cord by clicking on it and pressing backspace. Then I click on this little white dot and I get a patch cord that follows my mouse. Then I'm going to connect it to the input of motion blur. To clean the loop up, I need to click on the output to the input and then we've complete, completed this flow of signal and completed the loop. Now we have dots connected to a motion blur which give an interesting effect at the end. Okay, so there you have it. They are my top five tips for getting started in Isadora. If you'd like to find out more, then you should definitely come on our Isadora short course. Click the link to find out more information. Thanks.